Many people know Hugh Laurie as the actor who played the inconsiderate, genius, and witty Dr. Gregory House. This shows him in a completely different light. You see, Hugh now plays the surprisingly announced captain of the troubled Avenue 5. The show's mix of crazy, hilarious, and unexpected is the reason many people love the show. So here is Avenue 5 Season 2. First look, let's dive right into it, shall we? Before we get to talking about what's going to happen with the show going forward, we thought it would be appropriate if we did a quick recap of everything that went on aboard the Avenue 5. It's the future, and this is the first commercial cruise ship ever created. The person finding the venture is the billionaire Herman Judd, played by Josh Gad. He's behind the first ship carrying about a thousand passengers into space. And while the Titanic was one of the saddest movies about a sinking ship, this one found it comedic to be strapped on a quote unquote sinking ship. The panic gets out of control when the man behind it all, the engineer, Joe, is found frozen in space. Not knowing what to do, the owner of the ship gave Ryan Clark, played by Hugh Laurie, the position of captain. Why? Because he was hired to reassure the passengers of the ship. But the billionaire man baby is oblivious of the whole situation, so he does whatever he pleases. Even though his actions might be the reason for the death of thousands of innocent people. Now the real kicker comes when the supposed six month delay turns into a three and a half year delay as the trajectory of the ship was derailed. When they thought about unloading the cargo from the ship in order to shorten the trajectory a bit more, things turned further worse. There was a miscommunication and now the Avenue 5 is estimated to arrive on planet Earth in approximately 8 years. By this time, pretty much everyone began losing it. But there is hope. In all of that despair, they see that the supply shuttle has room for one more person on board. They all squabble about who's going to return to planet Earth and be the person to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But no, it's actually the person who's going to bring back help. They sent Iris by accident in the ninth and final episode of the show. This meant that the show ended on a cliffhanger and we're hopeful that there's going to be a remake. My patience has snapped like a 200 year old breadstick. I've had it. I am the captain still. Is there going to be a season two? Of course there will be. HBO's EVP Amy Gravitt has even said we've loved every minute of Avenue 5's inaugural voyage, which is one of the reasons the show got renewed for a second season. Right after the first episode aired on HBO, it didn't take the production house even a month to sign the contract yet again. And since the creator of the show, Armando Lanucci, has been behind many popular shows, including Veep, they weren't hesitant to sign the deal. After all, the legendary Hugh Lowry was the perfect guy for all of that incisive comedy. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, we need to look at the next question on our minds. Maybe if I go first, then that might help you feel My it. grandfather got me. The only person I felt truly myself with, you know? When's the release date? Since there has been a lot of turbulence with the pandemic and everything, there's still no answer from the creator nor from HBO about when the show is going to be ready for streaming. This means that the question is open for speculation. But even with every speculation we can think of, we can't go too far. We won't know for sure how long the show is going to take to film, although we know that the first six episodes were already written, the next three are going to take some more time to finish. And you should know that Lanucci said this right after the season one finished. So we can safely assume that the writing is taken care of, even if they had to do it while in lockdown. But we're still hopeful because the show aired at the beginning of 2020. This means they've had a year to prepare for everything and they've had an entire year to get all of the details in order. And as soon as they can start shooting, they will have everything covered, film everything in record time. Later, it's up to the editing team to finish the job faster. Shooting still hasn't started as of writing this video, which can only mean one of two things. Either the show is going to be shot during the summer of this year 
if the shooting and editing is done at record speed. Or, the more plausible option, the show will be available after in late 2021, or at the beginning of 2022. And don't even think about calculating the show's release date based on the release dates of the other two shows in its group. Why? Well, The Outsider got cancelled only after one season, and Curb Your Enthusiasm returns any time Larry David feels like it. Fingers crossed it's going to be during the summer. Okay, look at me, I'm Harrison. Okay. Right? Fud, is that your face or a rectal prolapse with a dye job? Who's returning in season two? Well, pretty much everyone's coming back for season two, except for Captain Joe and those guys that thought the spaceship was a reality show and they got frozen in space. And you just know that Hugh Laurie is going to be taking control as the ship's accidental captain. When he was asked about the shows, Laurie said, It's thrilling to discover that space isn't finite after all. I'm very excited to be continuing on this journey with Armando and HBO. And also, an amazing group of actors and writers who make me laugh every day. Here's to the future. And since everyone else is stuck on the cruise ship with no chance of getting out, we're going to be seeing more of the regulars. That means that Josh Gad is going to be returning as Herman Judd, Zach Woods will be reprising his role as Matt Spencer, and Lenore Critchlow will still be playing Billy McEvoy. As for some of the others, we think that there's going to be more of Hamish Patel, Jessica St. Clair, Rebecca Front, Nikki Amuka Bird, and Andy Buckley. But what about Susie Nakamura? Well, in an interview, she said that she would be coming back for season two, despite being sent off to Earth in a supply shuttle. Right, okay. Good. I've got, uh, pretty good. I have a I'm little sorry. Pain. I think you're still talking to the pizza. I think I, I he says he's got it. a bit of a chronic knee thing, but he thinks he'll be okay. Oh, fine. Is there a trailer out? The fact that there is no trailer out for season two shows us that shooting hasn't started yet. We're just hoping they get this show on the way because we really want to be seeing more of the iconic Lori Gad duo on the set. If we're going off from the tear and the actual trailer from season one, then the following should happen. Two months before the show airs, we'll get a teaser, and then one month before the show, we will get the actual trailer. This is how it was for season one. They released the teaser in November, and then the actual trailer was released in December, one month before the show actually aired. And we understand Lenucci. The man has to come up with comedic material while everyone's depressed thanks to COVID-19. Plus, he's had to work on a show that doesn't have a deadline. And in order to feel productive, the man assigned himself a set of deadlines he could work on. This helped him with the writing process, even though he has had to add numerous deadlines until finishing. Let's just hope everything will be back in order soon, very soon. What's season two going to be about? And now we've come to the most interesting part of it all. This is where we tell you everything that's going to happen in season two of Avenue 5. Except we have nothing. Armando Lanucci is keeping his mouth shut and there is no news from HBO about what's going to happen going forward. In addition, Hugh Lowry isn't a big social media fan, so there's not much we could get out of him. Checking the other actors' social media accounts, we found nothing. Not a damn thing. So what's a channel to do when they have no info about the plot of the upcoming season? Well, first of all, we wanted to talk about what we want to see in the show. In season two of Avenue 5, we want to see NASA get involved in helping these guys out. We're sure that Amando and his team are going to find some funny lines for the guy when speaking to a really important government representative. And since there isn't too much food left on the ship, we could end up seeing rations being made of the food, passengers trying to steal the food, and a lot of bickering and fighting. In the end, we think that some sort of romance should start developing on the show. They're missing a bit of love action here and there. In addition, learning that Captain Ryan spent the night with one of the crew or the passengers would be a riot, end and of itself. And on that note, we end this video. But hey, what do you think will happen with the captain and the cruise ship in the second season? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys.